The White House says reports that President Trump wants to use National Guard troops to arrest undocumented immigrants are not true. The AP reported this morning the president could federalize up to 100,000 troops in states from Louisiana to Oregon. The president today not addressing the issue in South Carolina while unveiling a brand new Boeing aircraft. The memo from the Department of Homeland Security says governors of each state would have to give their approval on whether their state's guard would participate. Our partners at the Texas Tribune say the governor's office has not heard of or seen a request to use Texas National Guard troops. Joining us now for some perspective is NBC political director and Meet the Press moderator Chuck Todd. Chuck, we have seen memos like the one today uh, about these National Guard troops uh, helping to mm -hmm. uh, round up undocumented immigrants. The White House, though, says they had nothing to do with this memo. Well, I think that, there, it, look, it's somewhere in between. It's clearly something that was floated that came from the White House to the Department of Homeland Security in some form saying that this is a possibility. This also feels like something that somebody decided to leak out as a way to kill the idea. But if you look at this immigration order, the one that he signed at, at, at the time highlighted the sanctuary city issue in particular, it didn't say that they were going to have enforcement priorities in the same way that the Obama administration clearly in its Department of Homeland Security labeled uh, deportation sort of enforcement priorities when it came to deportation or finding uh, or, or rounding folks up that were here undocumented folks that were here illegally so I think that that's why a lot of immigration rights groups are concerned that essentially there's no prioritization so if you get swooped up you're gone whether even if your only crime is the only crime you committed was the crime of not uh, of coming over the border uh, before that was not necessarily enough if you've been here for a little while enough to automatically get you deported and i think that that that's where that's where there is confusion about the enforcement mechanisms of this new executive order that the president signed a couple of weeks ago and be sure to join us for more perspective on this issue sunday morning meet the press begins at 9 a.m.